I'm Jonah Holy, Principal of The Rental Specialists, and welcome to our third video in our 15-part series on the changes to the Residential Tenancies Act in New South Wales. Today, we're going to discuss tenants being able to make changes of a minor nature to a property. Prior to the new legislation on the 23rd of March, Section 66.1 of the Residential Tenancies Act allowed tenants to install fixtures or make alterations, renovations or additions to a rental premises if they had written consent from the landlord or if the residential tenancy agreement permitted it. The Act went on to say that the landlord must not unreasonably withhold consent if the change requested by the tenant is of a minor nature. That seemed straightforward enough, but no one knew what minor nature meant. A new section 66.2a has now been inserted into the Residential Tenancies Act, setting out that certain alterations, additions, renovations and fixtures may be prescribed as of a minor nature, and that the landlord isn't able to unreasonably withhold consent. Also with respect to some of the prescribed minor natures, the landlord may give consent on the condition that an appropriately qualified person makes the change. Clause 22 of the new Residential Tenancies Regulation 2019 sets out the list of changes that are deemed to be of a minor nature. And these are securing furniture to a non-tiled wall, fitting a childproof latch to an exterior gate in a single dwelling, inserting fly screens on windows, installing or replacing internal window coverings, installing cleats or cord guides to secure blind or curtain cords, installing child safety gate inside the premises, installing window safety devices, installing handheld shower heads or lever style taps to assist elderly or disabled people, installing or replacing hooks, nails and screws for hanging paintings, picture frames and similar items installing a service to connect a phone line or access the internet, planting vegetables, flowers, herbs or shrubs, providing no existing plants are removed and shrubs will not be more than two metres high, installing a wireless removable outdoor security camera, applying shatter resistant film to windows or glass doors, making a modification that doesn't penetrate or permanently modify a surface or fixture or the structure of the premises. In the case of handheld shower heads, lever style taps, phone lines and internet services, clause 22 of the regulations allows the landlord to require the installation to be carried out by a suitably qualified person. Even if a change is listed in clause 22 of the regulations, the tenant must still obtain sorry, written consent from the landlord to make the change. Certain properties are exempt from the operation of these changes and these include properties that are listed on the Looseville Asbestos Insulation Register, heritage listed properties and some strata and community titled properties. At the end of a tenancy, a tenant is responsible for leaving the property in the same condition as at the start of the tenancy except for fair wear and tear. Tenants are still responsible for any damage they cause to the property even when the landlord has consented to the changes that the tenant makes. This includes making sure any alterations, additions or renovations are removed and also fixing any damage caused to the property. A tenant can choose whether to remove any fixtures they have installed, provided they repair or compensate the landlord for any damage caused by removing the fixture. A tenant can't remove any fixtures if the landlord has paid for them. Landlords can apply to the tribunal to seek compensation from the tenant for the costs involved if the work is not done to a satisfactory standard or if the work is likely to adversely affect the landlord's ability to release the property to other tenants if it is not corrected. Now, if you'd like any further information about any of these new laws and how they apply to you, please feel free to contact our office.